Reseller Clickbait Podcast, episode 51. I'm your host, Alicia, the ink picker, along with Jimmy Old School Flips. It is a relief What's... to see you, Alicia. I am sick and tired of that other guy. This is a major improvement going on right here. Oh, what? Oh, Ken, what the... <laughs> hey, it's really me, Jimmy. Oh, my bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, darn. <laughs> Shout out to Alisa and Mo over there at the Flippin' Fantastic podcast. Uh, they did a little uh, little thing with the beginning of their show with the DOG headshot, the DOG uh, headshot. Uh, that I signed in Vegas. And so that was fun. Uh, it was a really good episode. They did a lot of recap on the Vegas trip where we got to meet Alisa and her husband, Connor. Yep. And that was that was a lot of fun. So uh, shout out to them. Go check out their yeah. channel. Um, Jimmy, you're in charge of links. We're going to link it down below. I'm going to try to remember. Okay. You were, I'll write it in a note. Podcast. Flipping fantastic. I'm not going to lie. I need to watch it for watch one of their episodes for the first time. I just found out about their podcast. I knew who, I had heard of a, the inked picker, but I didn't know they had a podcast. Yes. So I have to go watch. I will be watching an episode and I will comment. I promise. I just haven't Perfect. I'm moving, so I haven't gotten to it yet, but I will. They are fun. So yes, you are moving. And I am man, a lot of big lot of big changes coming yeah, up for and I'm going to yard sales still, which is crazy. I don't even know what's wrong. Yes, with we're gonna talk about yard sales today. Why that's would our, we do that's that? our topic? I mean, it's the middle That's of winter. a good topic. Well, well, it, it is <laughs> pretty much today. It was cold and rainy. We've kind of been going through this cycle where it's beautiful, you know. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's just beautiful out there. And then by the time you get to Thursday, yeah, uh, you know, it's starting to get a little colder. And then Friday and Saturday, it rains. Well, that's not going to work but, for me when I move out there. So if you can change well, that it, up, make a change to that. It will. It's going to start to straighten up next week. Uh, and I'm actually going, I'm actually going to sneak in, Jimmy. Whoosh, I'm swooping in right before you get there. Oh, yeah? I seen there's a, um, a church rummage sale. Oh, over in the town that you're moving to, it's uh, wait a second. This, this next week, you this next week, don't be stepping on my turf. Well, you won't be there, so here's what I'll do. You're I'm gonna. Like, I've been story up in that motherfucker right there. We'll <laughs> 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 be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I figure, uh, you know, I've been, I have been filming some content. Believe it or not. I don't Ken, I mean, SSK promo channel is going to have some videos coming out. I know I keep saying that, but, but they are, I saw I filmed that some yard sales. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. No, I've been right? filming like crazy. I've been putting out videos like crazy. I'm you like have, opposite. we're like total opposites right now. Well, we always have been, you yeah. you're constantly putting out content and I'm constantly like saying, I'm going to put out content. My dogs are going crazy upstairs What's... again. Every time we record the podcast, my dogs go crazy upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm actually on my 90 day challenge. Uh, I yes. hate to say that I might not be. I'm. Is it okay if I do the 90 day video challenge a day, but take a break when I move? Like just like a week off to move? Is that? Oh okay? yeah, that's allowed. I think it, it's not. It doesn't have to be 90 90 days in a row, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's what. That's gonna, the plan. I'm gonna have to talk 90 to days. Carrie. Carrie's the commissioner of the group. Yes. Which is just two of us at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to ask him for permission if I can take like at least th- five well, days off to move. You know, you can I think that's great content though. That move, yeah, you know, unload I some trucks. Edit and unload. Upload them, and that's the problem, right? Oh, See, like true. I can't it's not like well, again, we've talked about the movie Spaceballs where they see the future and then the present. <laughs> if I'm moving and recording I guess I could use my phone, but I don't yes. use my phone to edit. So I use my computer, which will be in the trunk of my car while I'm driving across country. Uh, so I won't be able to that's edit tough. videos. That's true. So Well, maybe you can just do, okay, that, let me ask you this. If you're not putting out full like videos on your channel, do uh, some shorts or maybe some IG content. Yeah, yeah. Does that count? No. No, it does not. <laughs> Wow. Uh, well, here's okay. the thing. I, Carrie's me, tough, I, man. Carrie's tough this as the commission. Yard sales. We're talk, talking about oh. yard sales. And this will be about yard sales is that I'm finding out what my viewers like. And they like my yard sale videos. Yes. I did some thrifting videos and, and those just don't hit. 
Right okay. now, I just put out three yard sale videos three days in a row, and all three of them are hitting like, or I'm sorry, yes. state sale and then two yard sale videos. And my viewers are watching those like crazy. Yeah. So as much as I want to keep going on this, man, I, I, I just know that my viewers like the yard sale stuff. And so why, and, why keep putting stuff they don't want to watch? That's, that's, you know, that's what I thought too. And that's, uh, Plus, yeah, so I haven't you put just, out like an actual a video ago, a for year. a year. But yeah, if you don't know, if you're not subscribed, go over, look at right below his name, Jimmy Old School Flips. Go over, find Old School Flips on YouTube. I'm sure yeah. you'll be linking that down below as well. Uh, check out his channel. He is putting out that uh, you had a video out uh, today of yeah, a yard yeah. sale that, okay, I got to ask you though, uh -huh. well, what's up? What was it, what was up with the alarm clock? I don't. Oh wait, do you want me? To, I don't want to spoil your video. No, or people got to go check. What was up with the alarm clock? The alarm is in the very beginning of the video. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I put it there on purpose because I thought it was a very awkward moment. Uh huh. And it was like, was I wrong or was this guy just kind of like? So I'm digging through a box of clothes, right? Okay. And I don't know. I don't know what's up with the alarm clock, but I'm gonna tell you what happened with the alarm clock because I still. Okay. It still confused me what, why this guy was like the way he was about it. So I'm digging through okay. this box of clothes, looking for vintage t-shirts. Of course, that's what I'm looking for. Right. And it's pretty much all clothes. It's all clothes. There's okay down on the bottom. There's like tank tops, like, you know, and, but there's t-shirts and pants and shorts all in this box. And as I'm digging through, I come across this alarm clock at the very bottom of the clothes, like dug down okay. deep down in there. And I pulled out. I'm like, oh, there's an alarm clock in here. Uh -huh. So I take the cord. I wrap it around. I was like, I'll put this on your table for you at your yard sale. And it was almost like a like a stubborn guy moment that I think he had. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh -huh. He's like, okay. oh, no, 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 no. It's fine where it was. Put it back on the bottom of the box underneath the clothes where I had it. <laughs> and, I'm, and while I'm at the sale, I'm just like, what? <laughs> like I'm, I thought I was doing something nice, trying to help the guy out so he can sell it his alarm clock. No, yeah. he wanted it back in the bottom of the box underneath the clothes. So what was and up then, with it? I don't know, but it was. Yeah, it was there's no awesome other explanation moment. about it. It's like I, that. it was just kooky. I was trying to figure it out. I was waiting to talk to you, yeah. you know, when I when I saw you and say, what just that? What was up with the alarm clock? Well, I mean, it ended with me saying, oh, you want it back in the box? Like, <laughs> yep. And I was like, OK, good luck selling your maybe he, maybe he didn't know it was out there. And so he was like. You know, and then and, they, it's like that embarrassed guy commercial it. where he's all, is it, is this a yard sale? Yeah. yeah. If it's is in it the in yard, the, if it's in the yard, then it's, it's for, for sale. sale. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. It's, a, but it, it's like one of those awkward, quirky type moments in the video where I'm, I just had to leave it in there. So yeah, go, go watch that. Everybody go watch that video on Jimmy old school flip channel. Yeah, where I and, stole the thumbnail and the title I did. And then. Comment, it. you know, give your best, give your best reasoning for why a guy would want an alarm clock at the bottom of a box of clothing at his yard sale. Yeah. At his yard when sale. He has a perfectly, actually it was an ironing board. He had his stuff on an ironing board and I went to put it on an ironing board that he had okay. stuff on for sale though. It yeah. wasn't like he was selling the ironing board. Maybe he was, but he had stuff on top of it for sale. So I was just going to yeah, put it out it was, there so people could see it. It was an odd moment. I I've been waiting to talk to you and find out. Yeah. What the I mean, heck. My videos are always odd. So I mean it works out. Well, this is true. <laughs> so it, it just goes right along with uh with your your norm, your uh Yeah. Speaking of odd yard sales, I had a yard sale. <laughs> yes. You oh you know is that you, another odd. one? Yeah, so me and Sonia ran it on Friday. Okay. And then she ran because so Saturday we did everything's a dollar, so it was like okay. Sonia can handle that. Everything's a dollar. She doesn't need yeah. me to help her <laughs> price stuff. And so I went, and I need video footage. So I went out and did. Yeah. Um, but on Friday, my yard sale, I, um, I'm um, i getting ready to close it down. Like, it's the end of the day. Sales almost yes. over. And we have one shopper that's just kind of shopping. And we're, we're like, when he's gone, we're closing it down. Right. Yeah. And the guy is walking around, and he looks over, and he's all, is that your pickup? Uh huh. Is that your truck? And I was like, yeah. He's all, you selling it? And I was all, 
I don't know. I never really. Th- I mean, I, yeah, I had thought it wasn't about it on little, the sale, but it wasn't. No, there was no for sale sign or anything like that. It wasn't listed. Okay. Or, it's it's just sitting out in front of my house. And we had talked a little bit about selling it, but we hadn't decided if it was going to be the truck or the car that we were selling. And so then he's like, and I was like, I don't know, maybe. I mean, we're moving, so we might think about selling. He's all, how much? And I was like, well, tell me how much you want to buy it for. <laughs> so anyways, we kind of went back and forth, and he finally made me throw a number out him. And now my truck, okay. it's a, it's a, it was a 2007 Chevy Silverado, and it's got okay. like, you know, you probably see this more than I do. The the wheel wells on the back are completely rusted out. Like, yeah. I'm talking yes. completely rusted out. So it brings the value way down on that truck. Definitely. I mean, 150,000 miles. So it's a, if it was in good conditions, a $10,000 truck. Okay. So I, I just threw the number 6,000 at him. Okay. I'll keep this story short. We ended, I ended up selling yeah. my truck for 5,500. Oh, well, you're too late for that. <laughs> yeah, too late. 5,500, though, at, at my yard sale. I sold my picture. Sweet. Sonia got the title. He went and got cash. Bam. Boom. Hey, that's one less thing you have to drive across country, right? Where you, so well, you weren't I'm trying to, to sell able it. I to drive one thing myself. I mean, I'm not. Okay. Well, I guess I could have towed something, but I'm not. You could have drove like, like a mile and then walked back, got <laughs> walk, the other one, yeah. like leap. You know about me and walking. That I know about happened. Jimmy's one mile walks. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> it's only a mile. We'll just walk to the Paris we'll or no, to the about his Ellis Island. Halfway through the walk. <laughs> they're be like, Charlie Horse. Well, that's a that's a sweet sale that you. Plus, that's fifty five hundred. I assume it was paid for, right? You didn't have yeah, payments on it or anything. It, yeah. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's a sweet uh, little bit of money there, right before your leave. Yeah, I mean, we'll right have before to your move, it's a vehicle when we get out there. Um, but not right away, so it'll help us out. Yeah, with, you know. So yeah, it was kind of it was just crazy that he just happened to ask and. He was willing to pay and we got the deal done. So, ah, oh, that is, that's a sweet. I'm happy to hear yeah, that that's, for you. That was a cool yard sale moment on Friday. Yeah. Of your own sale. Yeah. Wait, now, uh, I, had you, I like heard your, you had, oh, I'm sorry. Did you move a lot of stuff out at your $1 sale? No, I mean, how did the wild. sales go? Friday was good. Friday, we, uh-huh. and Friday was still $2, $2, two yeah. bucks walking to a bar moments. So like <laughs> I did, we did pretty good on Friday, but Saturday was dead. Yeah. And I, I think it's because there was a lot of community sales and people were oh, okay. at the communities. How, how people, were the sales out there on Saturday? Like around here, Thursday's a day, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays are kind of dead. Saturday here's are pretty good, especially okay. at community sales. What I've noticed in the Denver area is, if you go to a community sale that's running Friday and Saturday, if you go on Friday, yes, you'll hit some sales, but I would say 20% yeah. of the people are out there on Friday and then Saturday, the rest come out. And so yeah. I did, I did really good on Saturday. I, I mean, I was scoring left and right. I'm that's what my videos are all based on. I still have two more videos that I'm going to make out of the stuff I found on Saturday. Yeah. And that's, uh, I, I don't want to jump ahead on anything or, you know, people, I want people to go see your content, but, uh, the skateboards. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, that you are moving and having to, that you're not, you're, you're kind of sourcing for video content yeah. more so than sourcing for items, uh, and you're just, 100% you know, right. showing, uh, but man, having to leave some of that stuff behind. And I have to be careful because, you know, YouTube comments um, can, you know, they can drive a YouTuber crazy and then they shouldn't, but they can, yes. you know, like I had some comments and like you said, though, I shouldn't be out there this for, for this reason, but I'm looking for really good items that I know will sell that yes. I know, I know that category. And I know if I list them, I'll sell them fast, hopefully before I move. And I also want them to be small items. Yes. So, but I'm not picking everything at all. Like there's stuff in my in my video that in my video like i show hey this is bigger the skateboards and other items i show like this is bigger and normally i'd pick it up but i'm not picking it up today yeah and i'm also staying away from stuff that i don't know like if i don't know it yeah like so for instance a comment was made about jewelry and i'm like i don't know i don't know jewelry at all i'm not sitting here trying to pick up jewelry right now 
because you know maybe i'll learn it well right and that's now, not even an item that you would pick up if you weren't moving not at all now yeah. we plan on sonya plans on learning it and trying to go into that but yeah for sure when i see something like that i'm like no i don't right now i'm not yeah. trying to do all that so yeah. you know i i try to you know i'm definitely like trying to make people understand why i'm not buying that stuff but it's it can be i don't want to come off as a jerk you know yeah and you know with comments you can't hear someone's tone like if you could hear my tone when i'm typing and what i'm thinking it's like yeah, yeah i agree they're great but i just don't have time like i don't know them and i you know so but it maybe when you someone reads it, like well this guy's a jerk he doesn't want to buy that <laughs> stuff he doesn't know what he's doing yeah yeah so well i think you explain it enough in your videos that that you're moving yeah and that you know you're just out there to 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 find things and, and, you know, pass along knowledge. I mean, you're a, you're a, a good picker and even things that aren't your, your wheelhouse, the toys, right. the video games, that sort of stuff. I mean, you know, you got a, an eye for, uh, you know, a lot of other areas, you know, yeah. obviously, you know, like you said, jewelry's not, but at least maybe you can, cause I think that's why a lot of people watch a sourcing video is, uh, to learn as well, to see, yeah items yeah. that they wouldn't think I picked up a, an item at a, at a sale um, over the weekend. Uh, some Danner boots. Danner. Wait, yeah. Like, okay. I got, sorry. I got you. I was thinking like Tanner, what? like the last name was not Tanners. Aren't they the last name? The, oh, the, of the, yeah. uh, of the full house family, Danny the, Tanner. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, so Jimmy, Dan you don't know Tanner. the Tanners. You don't know anything about the Tanners because I'm still trying to get rid of those damn uh, uh, dolls, <laughs> DJ and whatever that Jimmy <laughs> bought those. And he's like, dolls. hey, Ken, have like, this gift. You can sell these. You and, you know, these. just because it's like, a yeah, he gave them to me. It's like this great them. big box and uh, it sits on my shelf and I'm still trying to. That's what, like a year ago at the Route 30 sales, <laughs> Jimmy got that thing. And uh, so, yeah, don't talk to me about the Tanners, Jimmy. Well, even as a, that I'm a great picker, even at well, <laughs> yeah, even as a gift, you know, you know, it's, you know, give me a gift of uh, a, a bad pick is what DJ it was. and I. What I can't think of what the other girl's I name have was. No idea the daughter's name on it. But anyway, uh, I think I showed those here recently, didn't I? On it, on one it, of the shows. No, but uh, so. Um, what were you saying? Yeah, you were saying <laughs> oh, I picked up those Danner boots, which I believe that I, I think I'd have to go back. I'd seen, uh, we were talking about learning from people. I think it was Kayla homeschooling picker. And I think it was a pair of Danner boots that she had, I still don't uh, know what they are. she had picked. They're like a leather. These ones are like a leather hiking boot. Okay. And, um, I tried to work the guy down and I'll be in the, in the video. And, and he, well, I think the guy would have sold them to me, but the wife was like, Nope, Nope. Those are Nope. We're not going to be here. Man, 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 man. She was yeah, carrying yeah. on. But, uh, uh, I paid 25 bucks for them. I think they're going to be a hundred plus. Nice. Uh, yep. uh, in, in now, that, that model, but that was going from your, you're kind of passing along knowledge in your videos Yeah. Uh, at yard sales on something that somebody might not know what to get um yeah and the other thing is you know i i i know other pickers that are pickers that don't know anything about video games and when they come across video games they're just like as dumbfounded as i am when i come across jewelry so yes. it's just one of those things where i you know maybe stay in your lane sometimes and that's kind of my attitude i stay in my lane yes like i, I never stay in my lane Jimmy. i'm always sitting in his garage and he's just never going to list them because he just doesn't know anything about video games. <laughs> I'm talking I was about trying you. To, I'm talking about me, you right now. Wait, you're talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had you have interesting I, yard sale stories to tell from this weekend? I do. Um Jill and I went to a citywide sale. It was one of the the few days that the um the weather was great on Thursday. Yeah. Uh it was a little chilly in the morning, but uh we went to a citywide that was over it was like right in the heart of Amish country. I don't do you have are there I don't know are there any Amish in I Denver? Mean, I think there I I, I would know. imagine there are is the answer, but they're 
there you don't see any like i don't ever see okay any. here in ohio we have you know areas and there's lots of amish and and right. and mennonites and stuff and is so that where you picked up those boots that is where i picked right. up those boots but it wasn't from an amish an amish person it was more of like a they had well, i don't know what do i want to say they had electricity <laughs> yeah, yeah in the garage real nice house <laughs> however the the houses that a lot of those amish folks are just beautiful homes right right and uh but uh so did you so, like buy some bun butter churners and well yeah i just think i figured that, you know i'm just gonna be butter churners, it's gonna be you know nothing but quilts and you know Wood pies spoons. and uh, <laughs> yeah but uh there's a lot of a lot of just regular yard sales sort Sorry, of, i did awful. a lot of amish quilts which oh, yeah, would yeah, probably cool. sell yeah. really well but most of them you know because they're all handmade and they're all um but they were at high prices already because, you know, they were kind of probably in those items were selling to. Yeah, because they the made people them with their hands, Ken. Well, they did. Hence, handmade. Yeah. So they put and a lot so, of work into the. They did. But, you know, they also know that all of the, the people that come from the tourists, I guess, that come to Amish country, you know, they're going to get a little higher dollar out of those. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't uh, anything. I didn't even do much comping because I would look at the prices like uh, I'm not even going to yeah. deal with There's that. There's no barcodes on those to scan. There are not. <laughs> no tags. You can't put a brain. You just put, you know, people have to take your word for it that it's handmade Amish. But, you know, and then you pull up to the uh, all of the buildings like so downtown. All of the uh, buildings have the parking spaces and they all have hitching posts <laughs> because I was say that. there's I can picture Amish downtown. There was, there was actually, I, I called it, uh, I have a little thing that in my video is going to put out. I called it like the city of garage. And it's just like this little covered like pavilion, which just hitching posts. And yeah, there's yeah. buggies all pulled in there with horses, horses and, and... and there's uh, plenty of, <laughs> we'll say horse uh, droppings, horse droppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you get that. Uh, it was well that you get into some of those areas and the, the the smell of horse droppings was just about as strong as the smell of weed in front of every entrance or exit to a hotel oh, in Vegas. Vegas yep. You know, when we were out there, that's just, you know, a call back to that. But yeah, yeah, every every entrance or exit you would go out, people just stand out there smoking weed and it's not legal. Well, that's because you were standing legal, next to me, though. I mean, you could have just told me to put it out. <laughs> 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 that was a joke folks or yeah jimmy <laughs> wasn't jimmy wasn't smoking weed and but anyway so it was an interesting it was an interesting day got uh so yeah you would pull up to a a sale and uh there'd be a horse and buggy and a, a lot of the amish folks rode electric bicycles Wait a second. I, I know, or battery powered, I guess. I don't know how that works. If they were Amish, if they I don't were know the rules, so Mennonites. I'm not speculate. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard of the Mennonites. And they'd have they'd have like little wagons on the back of them that they were pulling. And they were all because Amish country is just right. it's hilly, it's up Maybe and down. Like and, a couple little hamsters inside the bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tiny probably, horses yeah. had tiny horse little tiny shetland horse. ponies in there <laughs> uh spinning those wheels uh but it was a great day we jill and i had a, a lot of fun i found uh a ton of great stuff uh filled up the whole but and just like every time jill and i go together now jill's not a reseller and i'm out Whoa. there to this is my living but she's somehow picker, though she's a picker though she's a picker but not a reseller she always picks for herself as well. And every time her side of the car <laughs> always is spilling over into my side of the car. I never have enough room for all of my purchases because of Jill's what pile of stuff. What kind of stuff does Jill buy for herself at a yard sale? Uh, she buys stuff to, to a lot of things to like repurpose for oh, yeah. like well, say crafting sure. purposes. Yeah. She has a really good eye to see what something can be. Yeah. Um, which what it can be is in a pile in her garage. Right. Well, I was is, gonna say, does she that's do what her it can crafting be as much as you list on eBay? She does. <laughs> well, uh, now maybe not video? as much as I list. Yes, she crafts as much as I edit videos. Makes, and yeah. so where I have a stockpile of footage, she has a stockpile of 
yeah uncrafted rough. crafting material uncrafted crafts yes yeah. and so um SP. she could she could she could be a lot and she does really she's fun. not gonna sell crafted stuff just crafting supplies Yes, you know, here buy this old lamp and these vases and this, you know, sewing machine cabinet. It's like, right. it's, oh, she did buy. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she, she bought like the next day after we came home. She went to the thrift store and she found her sewing machine cabinet. It was actually for a friend of ours that had been looking for one, but you oh. know, Jill just boom. I've been looking forever, and she yeah. goes like one place and she finds one. Um, you're gonna be in so much trouble after this live oh that I'm that's all right she live. she knows she knows how it goes she <laughs> knows how it is but yeah her side spills over into my side of the car yeah. uh but i still found uh you know lots of lots of good stuff some uh i actually did a uh a ken versus 10 live last night on my right. channel yeah. ssk promo uh, after I had listed uh I was drafting stuff and comping stuff you know all day and it's like Oh, I have these drafts. I might as well go live and and show some of the things that I had found that uh, you know during those sales, and yeah. um, so that worked I, I, out. I saw you went live. I missed. It. I was actually out to dinner with because we're moving, so we're going to dinner with some friends. And it was actually Dan, the Answer Man's wife's birthday. Oh, Krista's wow. birthday! Happy so belated birthday to we Krista! Went to dinner with them for her birthday. So yeah, I was out and about, so I didn't get to catch it live. What'd you have? What'd you have for dinner? We had a place called Maggiano's, which is Italian. Okay. Really good Italian. I had the four cheese raviolis. So oh, I, I cheated on my dog. Always diet. a good choice. And they have bomb cheesecake. So I had to get the cheesecake. Oh, yeah, that's right. I love cheesecake. Was it yeah. what did it have on top? Was it like a cherry, a strawberry? Oh, uh, we had a little strawberry. Strawberry on it. Oh, their on. their cheesecake. Just to, we're gonna go way off of yard sales, but their cheesecake is almost like a. It's I'm not gonna like, bring it back to yard sales in a second. It's not like dense, a dense cheese. It's a really fluffy, soft cheesecake, and I don't know. Okay, not, it's really good though. Anyways, with some killer cheesecake at the uh, Trash Gash Vegas yes, bash. There was yeah for dessert. A, that stuff was. Yep. That stuff was great. Hey, I'm gonna bring it back around to because I had so just I. got a notification. Go yeah. Um on my phone for an offer but here's something yard sale. okay i just happen to have it right over here don't turn your head we can't check hear you this. check this out mighty morphin That's power sweet. rangers backpack yeah, you can tell it's old because the lining and the art isn't exactly perfect like the the lines on the artwork is kind of it's got that aged look it yes. looks older you know it was before they got into the really good editing if you will or whatever 1993, 93. but I bought this because it was filled with like random action figures, action figures. And, uh, like a lot of, there was a lot of them that were like the McDonald's toys. Oh, yeah. Were they uh, older? Uh, yeah. Some of them, from 93. Yeah. Some of them were, but I, I had listed some things on there and I just got an offer. Oh, uh, some of the action figures. Yeah, vintage eighty four. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, Batman Kenner, and Robin. Kenner, Batman and Robin. Now these are like they're missing their capes and stuff like that, and they they were in decent shape. With some stuff. Uh, thirty bucks. Oh, Going and I, I think big dollar items, huh? I think I paid like three bucks. I don't know that it's been a while. It's been in my death pile. That thing. I paid like three bucks for that backpack and all of those figures in it. That's so. Nice. I'm going okay. On those so two here we go. Accept offer. Accept offer. All right. So he's accepting the offer, folks. I'm going to talk a little bit about yard sale too, because I want to tell a story about a sale that I went oh. to yesterday, and I was that guy at a yard sale. You were that guy. That guy that I actually don't like. I was that guy. Whoa, that was loud. I know. I held it up there. I wanted everybody to know that I just made a good sale. I was so, that guy that I actually don't like at a yard sale. Okay. So one of my, when I'm holding a yard sale, that you okay. can ask Sonia. One of my things yes. I absolutely hate. Okay. Is when, when I'm my, clearly we're outside and we have like a barrier set up. And yes. People are still looking in my garage asking if stuff for my in my garage is for sale. Okay. And I make sure it's clear that like. 
no, the garage sales out here in the in the on the driveway, and the garage is closed off. Like everything beyond yes. here. So I hate when someone asks me, "Oh, is your is that seven? You know, is that ladder for sale? No, that's my ladder, dude. It's in my garage. <laughs> it's not for sale." Oh, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna expand on that later. Go ahead. So I'm, and it's in my it's in my latest video too. So go check out my videos, guys. I'm walking around and nothing but furniture at this sale, right? And yes, it's it's actually really nice furniture. And again, if I was in Ohio and I was looking for the furniture from my new house, I'd be asking yes. how much of the table, the couch. Okay. And so there's, but I I look in the garage, and I see an Xbox One camera, motion camera in the garage. Okay. So I couldn't help. I had to ask. You had to be that guy. I had to be that guy. I said, "Hey, I'm." I even said, "I'm going to be that guy." that annoying uh -huh. <laughs> i said i'm gonna be that annoying guy and ask you is that and it was just like sitting kind of by itself on top of a box is yes. that xbox camera for sale in the garage and first the, the lady said oh no nothing in the garage is for sale but then the guy was like well hold on honey he's all hold on hold on because <laughs> so, i wanted to ask you about that camera it's been sitting in the uh the entertainment center for a year and it's not yeah. plugged into anything like and she's like, oh, it's that? That's what that is? And he's like, yeah, that's what that is. And she's like, he's like, you want to sell it? Like, yeah, let's sell it. So I okay. I, up, I was able to buy it. I got it for three bucks. That guy Ooh, bought that something guy. for, yep. I'm that guy. I I'm that guy. Are. I'll tell you. Well, I was, because I was going to ask you. In the house, just roaming around. <laughs> Yeah, like that time you house. like yeah. that time you went to the to the yeah. estate sale, <laughs> and it wasn't an estate sale. They just listed oh, as that. It was Jimmy an estate sale. Jimmy walked in the house, and uh, this <laughs> guy sitting in there eating. watching TV, like eating a sandwich. And he, the guy's like, "Can I help you?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm just looking around. You know, it's an estate sale." Like, guy's oh, like, "Oh no, all the stuff's in the garage." <laughs> I'm in the kitchen making a sandwich. Make <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a true story. Because I was going to, what am I? When we were going to talk about yard sales, garage sales, I was going to say, uh, so do you prefer a yard sale or a garage sale? Like yard sale where everything's outside, things. Um, I'm, uh, I guess I'm going to answer the question first. I like a garage sale yep, okay. because usually a yard sale means stuff is laid out on tarps on the ground in the yard, which is one of my big pet peeves. I hate stuff that's on tarps. Yeah, I know. In the yard. I but go ahead. You still got more the answer? No, you got the more garage sale. The garage sale is where I can be that guy. I probably spend oh a third of the time when I'm in a sale looking around at all the other stuff that's on yeah. the shelves because I want to see. And I I have just like your Xbox camera. I have been able to purchase stuff. Um, usually like a, what like I'm looking a for Chevy is auto fifteen hundred. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I give you fifty five hundred for that. Uh, usually, I look for the Christmas stuff like blow molds. People usually have those yeah. up, you know, if they're storing oh, things in their I garage. That. That's how I got that Mickey Mouse blow mold in one of my. I videos. find you know blow molds uh, and you know just other other items that I look at. Hey, is that for sale? Or yeah, you know, yeah. usually if you're digging, I I always ask though. I'm not the guy that's going to just go dig through something or pull something off their yeah. shelf. I'm always going to hey, is that for sale? Yeah. And uh, but so yard sale versus garage sale. It's a tough one for me. Yeah. There's, I like both of them, and I don't know if I could pick which one I like more. I feel like uh -huh. yard sales are usually cheaper, and when I'm saying that is I okay, and what I and maybe it's just a Colorado thing, maybe. But when you roll up to that house, uh -huh. and all the tables are set up in the garage, and it yeah, I feel like and everything's priced. Uh, <laughs> I feel like those. So I, the, now I do get excited when I pull up to a house. Like, oh, there's stuff in the garage on the tables too that I can't see. Let's run yeah. in there and go see what it is. Yes. But I feel like I always get in there and everything's priced higher. And okay. Like it's almost like I feel like that's how those sales usually are. Now it's not always that case. Obviously, sometimes you walk in the garage and you find great stuff. So maybe the yard sale, if it's in the yard, they're wanting they to, they like want to they get rid of it. So they don't have to bring it back into, into the garage, the garage. later. Oh, that's an interesting way to look at it. I never yeah. really 
never yeah. really thought of I've, that. But you know, it's hit or, it's it goes both ways because I mean I've had some really good finds in garages, obviously, and I've had some really good finds on a tarp. True. And I don't have to worry about Ken finding those because he's not even gonna look at it. I'm the everything is that I want is always in the middle. Yeah. Of the tarp. That's why you that's when you just step on everything and you get yelled in your yelled at in your YouTube need, video for stepping on everything. I need to get one of those claw things Man, to take with me, you know, that you reach stuff with that I can just when I get to a tarp sale, I'll just pull it out. I'll get me a like a like one of those gun racks people, you know, put on the back windshield of their of their car, like <laughs> hunters and stuff on the back, like and I could just reach back, get my claw. And go pick up stuff off of tarps. Yeah, that would, that would make for a great video, by the way. <laughs> I, I was editing my videos, and I was yeah. like, man, this guy is really rough with everybody's stuff at their sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was my video that I was editing. <laughs> it does always sound like that with, uh, with the camera. You know, when yeah. the mic's usually like right there, and it does seem yeah. like you're just roughing stuff up and, and no slamming stuff down. They're not really being rough with stuff. It's just the camera picks up that sound yes. so aggressively. Uh, so, hey, speaking of viewers, Jimmy, you told yeah. me you had you had some viewer mail. Viewer mail. I do have viewer mail. You have viewer mail. You mentioned this last week that you it had it, week and I found and it. And I've been I've been waiting all week. Now it's something I'm going to give to you. So it's give to me. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. And cool. it's, uh, it's because I'm moving to Ohio. And we okay. kind of talked about me being a Broncos fan and moving to Ohio. Okay. So the, uh, they had a note like like it was basically along the lines of ditch the Broncos. Okay. The Cleveland Browns. So I got a Cleveland okay. Browns tr ultimate trivia book. Now, the okay. funny thing about this book. Yes. Is the answers are all one of three answers. He fumbled. They lost, <laughs> or Bernie Kosar, or the, <laughs> or the D is the drive. Yeah, is the drive. <laughs> so it's like those all the trivia. One of those three is the answers. He fumbled. <laughs> they lost, or Bernie Kosar. <laughs> it's actually quite crazy that there's only three answers throughout the entire book. Uh, <laughs> that's. I, I, the, I think there's a Jim Brown in there. Too. The occasional Jim Brown. Yeah, occasional that's Jim Brown. Yeah, that's but our the, claim to fame back when Jim Brown went. They lost <laughs> when the Browns uh, won every championship there could be for like 20 Before. years in a row. And then they started the Super Bowl and we can't even get there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thank you for the gift. I am going to give that to Ken. Since so he is a Browns fan. A Brown. Let's, let's well, you'll do, be let's do one. Let's see. I can't okay. read. So that could be a problem. I can't read. Let's see if you know the answer. Okay. okay. Uh-oh. I feel on the spot. I need to get Roman on here. All right. Here you You ready? And I'll do the multiple yes. choice. Okay. Which Browns defensive back is the franchise's all-time leader in interceptions with 45? A, cornerback Clarence Scott. B, free safety Felix Wright. C, free safety Tom Darden. Or D corner cornerback Joe Hayden. Do 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 do. Tom Darden. Tom Darden. Let's see. Where's the answer? <laughs> it doesn't show me. <laughs> Hold on. Quick time. Chapter eight. Where's the answer? I don't know. It just I don't know any answers. There's no answers. Is there like a, a key in the back of the book or something? Like so I wasn't prepared question number one forty six. This is what happens when you let Jimmy. Did you know? No, where's the dang answer? We're never gonna know. Uh, I could probably the Google it quicker. Okay, quiz answers. C Tom Darden. You were right. Boom, boom. Darden intercepting. What you do some when, when did you play? Anyways, uh was, that's 70s. For, okay, that was I was born in the 70s, so he was uh there was probably 70s to early 80s i think there was a i remember there was a, a song there was a like an an independent guy had made this song it was the 12 days sing it right now sing it. Uh, i could sing the first day on the first day of christmas art model gave to me uh, a Ritigliano Super Bowl team <laughs> on the second day of christmas oh, boy, art model gave to me and it was hey, like you new know, segment 
Cleveland Browns history question. Cleveland <laughs> Browns history. Every week you can ask me a new subscribers question. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we might have gained 15. Gained so fans. we got net five subscribers net there okay, on that with we're the doing Cleveland Browns. Hey, I was, I was happy to hit that Tom Darden answer right there. Maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead. Hey, speaking of Ken singing and dancing, shameless plug right here, folks. Yes. On the old school resale channel, which is my other channel that's linked down below. Yes. Go over there first, subscribe, and then watch my latest video. Uh, it has some footage from Vegas and, and Ken I'm... is bobbing his head at Fremont Street. On Fremont Street? On Fremont cool. Street. I was bobbing I the whole to, time down there. Different music over it for copyright reasons, but yeah, he's getting down, bobbing the head. Did you, uh, did you at least time the music with my bob so I just no, didn't I look like... look normal, like zero coordination, <laughs> zero, like everything. Like almost as if you were falling down <laughs> some stairs. Oh, too soon. <laughs> no, just, yeah, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that. That's uh oh yeah I haven't I'm I'm a I'm a dead well I watched the video the first video you put out on your the one with the clock that we talked about earlier today but yeah. I still have to watch the old school resale one so I'll do that yeah after uh that channel is my what sold tonight. like and Sonia's helping so we actually I think yes. you get some good laughs um you know me and Sonia yeah. been married for like ever I think is the term that's so, yeah you're you're up to your ever anniversary. Brother, we hate each other, but we we laugh together <laughs> and we were funny together. So, um, I think some funny moments in that video for sure. Nobody already. can hate her. Sonia. Yeah, we we'll find out who the, for the most part she hates. We we'll find out who the talent is yeah. on the rescale on the resale yeah. channel. Yeah, old school hey, resale channel. I yeah. had some I wanted to bring up to you because you kind of we kind of talked a little bit about this. We both talked about Dave. Yes, the NC picker and how he's trying to list higher dollar stuff yes and i just i noticed you just had a sale where you're kind of higher dollar thirty dollars yeah double action figures and you had that's, some thoughts on that so i wanted to pick your brain on that because i'm not doing that i'm that's still one of my focuses stuff. that's one of my focuses i think at the at the yard sales and what i found out over uh uh at because this say i've went to a few sales there just haven't been many i know he is i'm going to there hasn't been many sales yet. So this citywide was kind of like the first one of the year that was of any substance. I've been to a, a few of them, but I'm trying to look for and source items that list a little higher. Yeah. Uh, you know, not copycat of, of Dave, but you know, he's going like a minimum of $15 and I'd like to even do a minimum of a $15 profit after, wow. you know, fees and stuff. If I, if I can. But man, it is very hard to get out of that habit of buying those. If you list a lot of, you know, ten dollar items, ten to ten to fifteen, that's what you sell. And I'm trying to look more for those items that are that list at a minimum of fifteen and right. above. Not get all those plushes that that yeah. I have that are that are the that's low what, end plushes. If you had what? Um, that'd be great. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. I need to uh, I need to do that, you know, look into what now, oh Mike, speak wait. Oh, go ahead. I gotta I, tell you I something. just had a question about that real quick. Bring me remind me about yeah. whatnot. Yeah, after I will. I actually I won't ask the question. Go ahead, go to whatnot. It's not that great of a question. Okay. Well, I'll finish up that topic. So Everybody it was very hard to know what the question was now. Bear Everybody. at the sales, not to to fall into that same thing that I was doing where I just don't want to leave it behind. If I'm going to buy it, you know, for 50 cents, a dollar, a couple of bucks. And I know that it's going to be say 10 to $15. It's hard to leave those behind. Some, some, some items I did and some items uh, I did try to source higher dollar items. And I got probably at least three items over the weekend uh, at that sale that were a hundred dollars outright, yeah. you know, let's say 90 to 130 uh, at a very low cost. And so I'm super excited about that stuff. Right. Uh, and sure. I did all the other items that I bought were, you know, are going to be better listing items. I don't think it's wise to buy the, the $10 items, $5, you know, Ten dollars, kind of usually is, but I'll do if it's something I know will sell fast, or if it's in a bulk buy, 
I'll still yes. lift it. But if you have a significant, even slightly significant death pile, yes, I think you should be staying away from that stuff. Yes. And I that's... currently have zero death pile, and I'm planning on going out to Ohio, and I will be picking that kind of stuff and not letting a death pile form. So there's different reasons. You know, if you, you know, like Dave being part time, it's harder for him to list stuff. So yeah, it's not a good idea for him to buy that low dollar stuff. And if you, you have a significant death pile, up, is my understanding, right? Uh, yeah, it's still, it's still pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. even with the yard sale and stuff, I have a lot of things that I could list. Right. So I don't think it's wise for you. I think you're making a good decision to not add those $10 items when you have yes. a death pile that could possibly have better items. But, you know, just like when you're sourcing out there now, just kind of for video right. video content, right. it's very hard to leave no. behind an item that's in that's in your wheelhouse, something yeah. that you know, something that you didn't have to comp look up, anything like that. You like, okay, I know that's an instant twelve bucks right there yep. if I buy it. And and well, like I said, the bulk buys too. If I'm gonna get a whole box yeah. of stuff, I'm gonna try to list those things. Um, so uh, that's uh. That's part of his plan, yeah. folks, is he's going to try. Yes. So when we're when he does the 10 versus 10, we got to make sure he's listing those high dollar items. I don't want to see any more I, of those syrup bottles. Yeah. <laughs> well, those were, those were given to me. I'm just and so, and so I listed. So I think everything that I listed last night was probably, uh, I did have a couple action figures, which was in that bulk buy of all those. I right. bought a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That but I bought. I wanna, uh, remind me next yeah. week to ask you more about the because you asked me what those figures were and I couldn't quite. Yeah, I think I finally ID'd them, and I want to know how good they are. But let's talk about yeah. that next week. I would like to have some help on that. But I want to. I want to bring up something about what not. I don't. Yeah. Should I? Should I bring it up now or maybe somebody can enlighten us in the comments? Uh, I was listening to. The uh, Let's Do Lunch podcast last week yep. with Angie and Kristen, and uh, they had Art on as their guest, and they were talking about whatnot, yeah, and selling on whatnot. And Angie brought something up that I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute! I need to look into this, and it might, it might affect you more so than me since I don't sell on whatnot and some yeah, of I your think, plans that you have. I think I know when you get going. to Ohio. I'm apparently your license in Ohio." That, I knew that already. Yep. That yeah, something. But only if you're selling like over ten thousand dollars, and there's some other stipulations and all of that stuff. But I've yeah. been trying to look into that, or even if you sell auction auction items on eBay, which I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm know. never going to sell ten thousand dollars worth of auction items on eBay. I mean, I, if I sold ten dollars, I might not be in and, Ohio yeah. very long, huh? Is what you're trying to tell me? You'd be well. No, I'm just saying. If you know, I just found that interesting. Yep. That you know, Ohio, and then they said, you know, if one state does it and they start getting all that revenue from people getting auctioneer license and stuff, other states will it's follow suit. Clean out whatnot for sure. What well, that would be, yeah, pretty. Now pretty I think I would. For, with with their with if it did clean out whatnot a lot, then I would go get my auctioneer's license so I could yeah. be on there. Yes. And I don't well, think it's yeah. that hard to get. Although I don't have the voice that Ken has for <laughs> it was uh it's I uh, from what I can see, it's like a an a, an eighty hour course. It's like a two hundred and fifty dollar fee or a two hundred and fifty dollar annual fee, and then there's some other licensing fees that go along with it. Uh I, I did work. try to investigate. I actually heard about that a while ago. I didn't even watch the video you're talking about, but I have heard about that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into it, you know. Yeah. So Maybe I thought, I mean, man, that was tough because I know that's moving to Ohio is what you're trying to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> is it too late? You know, you haven't signed. You haven't signed for, you haven't it's too closed late. on the house yet. It's oh, too it's too late. late. Sonia, okay. don't pay attention to this. It's not true. Just, <laughs> just trying to scare us. Uh, no, cool. I just, I just thought it was interesting that when she said that, I was like, "What?" Yeah, you know? I, don't, I can't. I when did I? I think Rockstar Flipper did a video about it a while ago. Okay. And when I saw it, I saw that he said that. I was like, "Oh, well, that's where Ken lives." That was way before I decided to move there. <laughs> yes. We'll see. And, I'm not that yeah. worried about it. No, I'm, you know, and I guess if your whatnot's really taken off and you're selling 10,000 plus yeah. 
and whatnot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go get your license if, right. if that's where it's at. So, yeah. um, well, so, plus our business that you're going to be in that we're going to do are the auction house that we're opening that I told you about. <laughs> you're going to have to. Yes. Have it too. That's true. Hey, what are you going to give me for it? Oh, there's the dogs. Hey, what are you going to give me for that dog there? <laughs> I got a hundred dollar bid. So, uh, I think, yeah, yard sale season. I'm excited. Yep. Everybody it's here. Go watch all the videos that everybody's putting out right now. Yard sale videos are coming out like crazy right now. Yes. Go support all the YouTubers that are putting out videos right now, including old school flips. Yes. But and yeah. and SSK promo. He's not putting I, out yard sale videos. Listen, listen. That uh, now guy, don't, I don't, don't hold me to this, but oh, I <laughs> trust me. We already did that once. And you, I you think let us down. I should have three videos out this week. Here we go. This is now 100% the DOG right talking. That's right. 100% <laughs> the DOG. No, no it's, it's Alicia, like the this. ink picker. I'm oh, going to. Yeah, so now we'll, now okay. I believe three, but now I don't believe three videos. I'm okay. back up and I believe three videos. I'm not buying it, dude. I mean, I'm I'm it's, working it's at all it. All in good fun, but I'm not buying it. Um. Well, you you are probably correct. I'm trying because soon as I start editing, I'm taking oh forever God. to do this stuff, and then I think I should be listing, and then then it's like when I'm listing, it's like I sh I want to do the video, and then I don't get anything done. But I'm literally at recording yes. a video right when we're done here, or what's going, <laughs> and I will have that video out before you put out a video. You will because I'm I haven't even recorded jacking it. around with this video that was like from a month ago from a, a sale. Um but I'm right. I'm but I'm trying I should do the, the 90. I should get I should have you get Carrie. I should talk to Carrie. Last the day. <laughs> I will. I will last you know the 90 minute. Maybe I have like the 90 minute challenge. Like, yeah. can I get one? Can he put out a video on the next 90 one video on the next 90 days? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Rather you than know, one a day for 90 one days, one not video. one video for 90 days or Now, what whatever. we can do is we can work out a deal when I get out there that I will just take your footage from you like we've talked about. Yes. And I'll voice it over with my voice like I found. Now, I'm going to cut up all those syrup bottles that you buy, but <laughs> I will definitely show the good stuff that you find and I'll voice it over like I found it. Well, I'm expecting you, Jimmy, to make me a better youtuber a huge challenge folks a better youtuber and a better a better reseller i'm gonna right. i'm gonna learn i'm i'm gonna be like the padawan learner now, I just and then recently, eventually i'll be the i'll be the darth vader i'll be the sith the lord vader, and sith lord. Jim, jimmy will be like you know one day he'll find he'll out that long, you know just... the servant is the master <laughs> And then, then that's when you can hey, move from Ohio. I just recently took on a challenge to okay. put out a video once a day, every day, and I'm so far doing it. So if you're challenging me, then you know I'm going to do it. Challenging you to make me a better yeah. YouTuber, is, the, a I, better you, you reseller. me to the impossible, but I'm still going to do it. I'm going to hold you to You heard it here, folks. <laughs> On episode 51. Okay, Jimmy, we got, we'll just finish up with a little bit of business here. Next episode will kind of be our, since it's 52, yep. 52 weeks in a year, we've got um, kind of like our official one year. So yep. we're going to try to plan something special. We may have guests. We may do a live. We may do something there that, uh, but that will also be your last episode from Chicago, yeah. forever from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll be Jimmy's last episode from Denver. Yeah. And, and then we might have to take a hiatus for a week unless I, you know, pull in my own special guest to replace yeah, me for a week unless road. he can do it. Uh, but we'll, we'll start like, we'll start season two fresh. Jimmy will be in Ohio. Yep. I'll be in Ohio. You know, some of those nights, you know, when we have sleepovers or play days, we can record <laughs> at the same time. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll both so, be auctioneers it's gonna be fun yes it it is gonna be uh it's gonna be good i'm looking forward to it to yep. to having you and and sonia here and and uh 
meeting your boys. My mom says, uh, my mom says, how's Jimmy? How, how are they going to unload all of their stuff when they get here? It's like, man, they got two strapping young lads yeah. for sons that are, you know, in their early twenties, 18 to, to, you know, yeah, 22 and, and, and 19. Yep. They've got heavy lifters there and yeah, they'll they be, got, uh, no problem. I'm going to sit in the recliner while they do that. Well, they pull it out of the truck. Jimmy will be, be in, in the, the recliner. recliner. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to wrap this one up and uh, we will catch you next time on Reseller Click by Podcast.